Moving on, families displaced following flooding in Lake Baringo have begun to receive food aid as the government moves in to cushion the affected families. The aid comes as a separate initiative was launched to provide water tanks and other basic needs to families displaced by heavy rains in Kambindege Camp in Marigat. <laughs> More than a thousand families were forced to flee their homes after Lake Baringo broke its bank six months ago. In efforts to cushion the affected families, a joint donation exercise beheaded by the Turkish embassy was launched to provide basic supplies to affected families living within Kambindege camp. For giving us support, particularly in a very critical area, you know water is life and there is no life without water. Um, they have provided this camp with uh, what we'll consider sufficient uh, tanks. With this COVID situation, certainly this is a very, very uh, uh, important step forward in terms of addressing the needs of our people. Or the Valuation Chief Administrative Secretary Abdul Bahari says the government is in the process of availing food aid to families displaced after Lake Baringo burst its banks. Our role in disaster coordination together with the county government as a shared function um, is what is critical to us. Our structures are in place and this has worked very well. We can only do better next time. The problem we have, that is the rising water levels. We have the short-term interventions, which is actually to alleviate the livelihoods of these people, to give them shelter, to give them food, and then to give them water. Other stakeholders loaded the initiative saying it will caution the families from suffering in the wake of the pandemic. Please come on board to support us. The problem is big. Having 3,000, above 3,000 households to support them in terms of food, in terms of shelter, in terms of also their children going to school is actually a challenge. You want to make uh, new realistic projects that can meet the priority needs of these people uh, for the next year uh, and maybe the education sector can be our priority sector uh, because it seems it's a very urgent uh, they need very urgent support